What's up? What's up, everybody? I didn't really tell anybody I was coming live, so who's here first? Let me turn on my turn on my views here. What's going on, guys? Nobody's on live. Come on, guys. What's up? What's going on, everybody? Where's everybody at? I know nobody's working and nobody's in bed. What's going on? All right. We'll give it a minute more. We'll give it a minute more. Maybe I should announce we're going live. I didn't even tell the wife I was going live. What's going on, guys? There you guys are. What's up, Andrew? What's going on? Jason? Just back from work? What kind of work? What did you do? Juan, what's up, Juan? You still cutting, Jason? Are you uh, are you a barber or what's up? What's going on, guys? What's going on, everybody? How's everybody handling the uh, quarantine? Bless me with the info, man. Uh, what did I tell you, brother? A lot about unemployment. That's what I'm coming on here tonight, guys. I kind of want to, you know, let's get a couple more people in here. But that's what I'm calling. That's what I'm here for tonight. I kind of want to discuss a little bit about unemployment, about letting you guys know. I don't know if everybody knows that, you know, that with the new stimulus bill that passed, they're actually allowing barbers to uh, file for unemployment, you know, which is a good thing, guys. Because, um, you know, I've been a barber for 20 years and we've never been able to file, file for unemployment. There's never been unemployment uh, benefits for us, but uh, now they're they're allowing us, so that's a great thing. <sighs> Chas Dunn, Chas Dunn, what's up, man? Lake Blend, horrible. I missed the shop. I know, bro. I'm the same way, bro. I'm the same way. I miss cutting right now. I'm having like these little itches. I I don't know. Even uh, today, I did it. I today I did a, a tutorial. I actually did a live. I I did the voiceover on it, and I was watching it. I was like, damn, man. It sucks. I want you to look and learn, Jason. Alex, I want you to look and learn, but I was at work. The warehouse is considered essential. Oh, okay, I get it. What's up? Okay, Jason, how's it good, bro? You're you're an essential worker. All right, bro, thank you for working out there, man. Keeping the economy going, keeping us going, keeping the shelf stocked. You know, if it wasn't for the essential workers, it'd be really tough. Uh, Chaz Dunn, one of my clients is in the hospital. Oh, yeah? Chaz, one of your customers in the hospital? Damn, dude, you know, like... For a while, people were asking, like, hey, do you know anybody personally? Like, no, I didn't know anybody personally. But now I'm starting to hear of a lot of people. Like, there's a barber down here in West Covina who supposedly had it, you know. And um, it kind of sucks, dude, because, you know, you just, you never know, you know. You never know. Uh, You know, if, if, you know, I guarantee you guys by next week or two weeks, we're going to start hearing of a lot of people that we know ourselves that, that are, are getting it, you know? So, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's just, we all got to be careful, man. Stay home guys. Right now is the time. Don't even go out. Don't even be out there. If you don't need to be, if you're not an essential worker, you shouldn't even be on the streets because things are going to start getting tougher, you know? Uh, what's up, Priscilla? Tell Juan I said, what's up? Uh, let me see who else we got here. Hey, have you he heard anything back about the grant thing you applied for for barbers? Did you get it or do you hear anything about it? Uh, no, I haven't heard nothing back yet. Um, I filed for, I, I've done a few grants. I did, uh, I did an SBA disaster loan. That's for business owners. And, uh, I filled out that long application, sending my tax returns, all kinds of stuff. 
And then uh, a week later, they had a, after they passed the stimulus package for that same SBA loan, they have a 10K, 10K uh, um, that you don't have to pay back, hopefully for, for small businesses. And I heard it's first come, first serve. I filled that application out the same morning it came out. And I've been on all the applications one after the other. And then um, I also filled out the PBA. They're giving away $500 for help, supposedly. So I filled that one out, too. I haven't heard nothing back from them. And then just yesterday, I actually figured out that barbers that are self-employed and contractors can file for unemployment, which is a good thing, guys, because I heard it's a maximum up to $600 a week, man. If they could give me $600 a week, you know, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but that will pay my rent at my shop at least, you know, that'll at least help me out right there. Uh, Leo, what's up? Leo, Leo's in the house. <laughs> what's up, Juan? Juan says, what's up? Uh, Lisa, she's over there. She's taking care of dad right now. She'll be in here right now. She doesn't even know that I went live. I didn't tell her I was going live. She just kind of, she's been stepping in and out. And right now I just like, yeah, you know, I'm going to go live. Go see, talk to the guys. I kind of want to just really talk to you guys about the unemployment thing. I just encourage you guys, if you guys, if this is your only job, you're licensed and you know, and you've been paying your taxes. I encourage you guys to file for unemployment because, you know, this is the first time they've ever given us unemployment. They've ever let us file for unemployment. So it's a good thing. Let me see who we are there. 600, yeah, 600 a week. That's not bad, dude. That's that's hella good. Hi, babe. Hi. The guys are asking about you. Oh, yeah? I went live, sorry. Oh, you went live? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, did you ever get back to your bank about your mortgage, Jason Alex? No, I didn't, bro. I ended up sending them a, a message because I heard that you could send them a message and I sent them a message and, um, and, uh, uh, they responded, but you know what? They didn't give no, they, they won't defer my payment. They, they, all they're going to do is they won't charge you late fees, but they're going to pile up. And after 90 days, you're going to owe the whole, you're going to owe the whole amount anyway. So unless you do like a re a loan remodification, which I don't want to do, it kind of sucks, you know? So what we're going to do is just like put our money together and make the house payment. You know, that's the most important thing anyway. You know, I, I suggest you guys don't fall behind on your houses more than anything. I'd rather lose my car than lose my house. You know what I mean? So it's kind of the same thing. You got to weigh the, the difference, you know? Let me see. I get, I get, I got declined, but when I applied, they said that I wasn't qualified because there wasn't any proof of income for them to go off of. So I don't know. I'm going to call and see. Yeah, you know that. Say hi, babe. Hi, you guys. How are you? <laughs> who's who's with us? Uh, and there are all kinds of there's 11 people in the in the group. You gotta jump on your phone, baby. Yeah, Priscilla's in here. Uh, Juan's here. Blake, Blend, Jason, Alex. Uh, we're just talking about unemployment, talking about them, about having, encouraging them to file for unemployment if they haven't filed it yet, you know? But what was I, what was I telling you guys right now? Uh, oh, about not qualifying. Um, you know, I think unemployment, guys, is going to go by your taxes. So, it, 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 you know, like, if you're going to try to get, collect unemployment, you definitely have to have filed taxes in the past because they're going to know that, you know, they're going to know whether you paid taxes or not. If you're not paying taxes at all, then I don't think they're going to give you unemployment. You know, if it's your first time, like it's if your first time being a barber and, you know, you're trying to collect right now, they might not do it unless, you know, I, I, I just don't think they will, you know. What do you recommend for to prevent ingrown hairs when razor shaving your head? Your own head? Uh, I just suggest you use shave gel, bro. Use shave gel for sure. Uh, use a hot towel on your head first, open up your pores, and then use a, a, a either a shave gel or a hot lather. And then um, and then after you after you shave it, make sure you you put a cold towel so you close your pores, your pores back up. But um, yeah, that, that's what I, that's what I do when I do head shaves. Are you hot in here, babe? Yeah, a little bit. Want me to open the door? Yeah, I'll open it. It's oh. hot. <sighs> Get yourself a refreshment, babe. Mm. Barbara Fidel says Lisa needs to be a barber. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. My baby, you know what? She did a good job on my head. What did you day. do, babe? I said, I... <laughs> Thank you, Barbara Fidel. 
Yeah, you know, a lot of people have been saying that she did a good job. You know, but you know, that's the kind of girl that my girl is. She's just a confident person. Like, she's not, she don't back down for nothing. She doesn't back down to a challenge, you know. Like, I could tell her, like, I'll race you down the street and she'll tell me she can beat me. And we'll probably have to race to figure it out, you know what I mean? Like, that's just the way she is. So, when somebody challenges her something, she's not going to back down from it. And she takes direction really good. So, that's why I knew that just guiding her through it, I, I'm pretty sure that I could have done better. And they know what's funny is that we went through the video afterwards, right, babe? And we went over the video and we were, and I was telling her, I was, I, I wish I had like a pointer because I was all pointing like, look, right here, you just missed this spot. If you would have went a little bit higher with the machine instead of stopping, you would have had a, you would have had a cleaner fade, you know? But that was weird. I could see it in the in the video. Yeah. But I couldn't see it like with, with when I'm supposed to see it, which yeah. is with my naked eye. I couldn't tell, but in the video I could see. I'm like, oh, there's the shadow. There's the lines. I didn't know what they were talking about. They're like, yeah, because I was like, you got a shadow like, right there. The he line. the shadow. Like, oh, yeah, I, I see the line. He's like, not that line, this line. I'm like, I don't know what line. Thank you, Priscilla. I appreciate it, you guys. Ron, Alex says, I am working an essential job, but I am not receiving hazard pay. But oh, wow. Just protect yourself, bro. Like, you know, keep your distance from your other fellow workers and, um, you know, they announced today that everybody should be wearing a mask, guys. Some kind of a mask. Even if you don't have a M N95, you should be covering your face just in case. You know, even if it's just a banyo and you look like a look like a bandit out there or something. But you should start covering your faces when you guys go outside. If you guys are going out there, like you essential workers and stuff, start protecting yourselves because it's going to start getting crazy now. The next, the next two weeks is really going to get bad out there, so... It's out there. It's out there in our own communities. It's here in my city already. Yeah, there's like seven people here. There's seven people in our city right here alone, you know? And I'm getting calls every day. Like, hey, Big Al, can you cut my hair? Can you cut my hair? Like, hell no. I ain't cutting nobody's hair right now. Nobody. I got my barber right here. That's it. <laughs> oh, man. Who's King Troll? King Troll. MMA barbers in the house. So what's up, MMA? MMA's in the house, guys. Oh, I thought there was a troll in the... <laughs> no, nah, he's calling himself King Troll. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's a little what's bit up, of a, MMA? He's a little bit of a troll sometimes. What's going on, MMA? He's on... Well, uh, uh, Jed Clark says, what razor do you use to shave your face at home? Oh, at, that's easy. That one. Okay. At my home, I use this one right here, guys. Look at it. Every morning. I every hear. single morning. Bronze Series 7. If I had a 9... I would, I would use a 9, but a 7 is just as good as a 9. But you guys already know I'm a big Braun Series fan. I love these machines. This machine, look at this. It's a beast, guys. And I bought this for 50 bucks. 50 bucks, and I shave every morning real quick with it. You know, and, it, and it, I don't have to shave. I don't have to use gel. I don't have to use nothing. It's easy. Uh, Blake Blends, 38 in our city. 38 what? 38 people infected. Oh, 38 people infected? Damn, yeah, that's, that's a, a lot. lot, dude. That's a lot. What city are you in? Because even seven in our city is a lot. Yeah. Because our, our city is our a city's, small, small town. Our city is about 40, 48,000 people, maybe. Wow, that many? Yeah, there's not many people in our oh, city. Oh, it's not that small then. It seems small. A lot of these customers like don't care house. about you. Uh, yeah, MMA, you're right. I'm good over here loving this downtime and spending a lot of money on investments. Damn, that's good, brother. That's good. Um, me spending, I'm spending a lot of money on investments on food. <laughs> nah, just kidding. Nah, I, you know, that's good, bro. Yeah, you know what? It's not worth it, bro, because I think of it like this. People are going to want to get a haircut no matter what. And, and um, you know, and, and there's some and the pe there's some people are just desperate. And then like, I see a lot of people don't even believe it. There's a lot of people that don't even care. They don't, they're walking around like nothing. They don't believe it. There's a lot of youngsters just doing whatever the hell they want. Like, I ain't going to cut nobody's hair and risk myself. Not when you, not when I'm watching the news and I'm seeing what's going on in the world. Like, hell no. No way, guys. It's not worth it. It's not worth to bring it back home to you. It's not worth to pass it on to somebody. Like, right now, like, if you, if, even in our city, they told us, like, you can't be open. If you cope, if you're open, they're going to find you, you know? Like, why would you even risk your license? The, the day that we did the, the wifey haircut challenge, um, we noticed when we left, there was a cop parked across the street. Yeah, staring so, at right there, looking just looking at our shop, and I'm yeah. like, I so bet you I know they knew we were there. Yeah, they're wondering if we're bringing customers inside the shop. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, but I wouldn't so do that checking. anyway. 
You can make homemade mass materials with two rubber bands. Yeah, uh, we've seen that. If it comes to that, I'll make my. We, we actually, lucky we have masks. We have actually the medical mask because Lisa takes care of our, our, our father here. And, and so we got, we have some medical supplies here. We have, we don't have a lot. We have like a box or two, but. That's what my, my mom, my mom, my dad, my dad's on Medi-Cal. So a lot of the stuff that my dad needs, like his, um, his uh, oxygen and his um, respirator machine and all the stuff that goes with it, that's all included in their insurance, but like his diapers and the masks and the gloves that's all like that's not that's not considered like necessity yeah um so we have to purchase that on our own which we do and that's the reason we have them we don't know what we're going to do when we run out of them because they're yeah hard right to now get. right but, now you can't even find i mean them. you know honestly guys if that thing back and forth was the cdc said don't wear masks then they said wear masks and it was like kind of confusing. Me and Big Al were like, "No, we're wearing a mask." Yeah. Like, there's no way we're going to. I ain't, I ain't listening. I'm gonna wear a mask. So whenever we go out, we 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 wear a mask for sure. Yeah. The pop population. <sighs> what? Oh, he says population. He he's from Wichita, Kansas. Oh. Yeah. Faith by Morales. Wow. What's up? Que onda, carnal? How are you, brother? 656 cases in Orange County. Yeah, damn, Priscilla, that's crazy. That's a lot over there. I, I, I hope you guys are staying home, guys. I hope I hope everybody's just doing their part. Just stay home, man. It's not even worth it, guys. <laughs> Take off your hat, baby. We want to see the cut. Want to see the cut, guys? You guys want to see the chili bowl? That's a salad bowl. <laughs> it's not, she did a good job, guys. She did a good job. It could have came out. I'm proud time. of my girl. I'm proud of my girl. She did good. I tried. I guess that's all that matters. Hell yeah, it's, it's hard to get in there and never have cut before, and all of a sudden you're doing that, and then you're doing it on camera. Like she, she literally never ever cut before at all, guys. No, at all, at all. I couldn't even imagine doing like going through barber school and then not even cutting anybody's hair, and then getting a job at a barber shop and then cutting your first client that you that pays you. Like, oh my gosh. MMA says he's trying to reach one million dollars. Oh, aren't we all, brother? Aren't we all? I'm trying to reach. I'm trying to reach hundred million, but you know what I mean. Baby steps. I'm trying to just get through this pandemic first. <laughs> I was a year ago. Maybe I'll hop on and restruct my portfolio. No, damn, you got a portfolio? Hell yeah, I got a, I got a wallet. <laughs> I see David is a vegetarian. Would you guys have, would you guys ever be down to do a vegetarian or possibly even a vegan challenge? I would do vegetarian. I do ve vegetarian, not vegan. I don't know. But vegan, I don't know about vegan because. Vegan is kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of weird, dude. That, well, it's not weird, but it's like. Even vegetarian is kind of weird. I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a diamond, I'm a T-Rex. I need, I need meat. You know what I mean? I, Priscilla, honestly, I think I could do vegetarian because <laughs> I don't really like meat that much. But I always cook for my boy Dave, so you know it doesn't. You know, I I, I just keep it real for him. So he's, I, he's been a vegetarian for like four years. Yeah, four, four years, or five years now. Dave used to be a little chunker though, and he's and he he made a decision that that was it, and he just cut meat out, and bam, he just slimmed down, started dancing, became a hip hop dancer, and yeah, just transformed himself. <laughs> I mean, Max, that's, that's a pozole bowl. <laughs> yeah, that's a pozole bowl. <laughs> uh, uh, Juan Cordova's yeah. in the house. What's up, Juan? How you doing, brother? Barbara Fidel's in the house. I mean, Max in the house. Blake Blends. What's up, you guys? You guys got to go to the house. You guys that are all in here or like the A1 Day one something. Yeah, these are the guys that are always on here. Restaurant in LA, this is all over best vegan food, and I'm not even a vegan. Vegan? Wait, what? He said we should go to this house called Casa de la Madre and rest the Casa de la Madre restaurant in Los Angeles. It's a vegan oh, restaurant. Oh, I, I think I heard of that. Do they yeah. sell do they sell meat there too, or is it all vegan? Because I don't know about all that vegan. Well, is he saying LA or is he saying Louisiana? Uh, no, I think it's out. Well, it says LA. Oh, I don't know okay. if it's, I don't know if it's Louisiana or Los. I think it's I think it means Los Angeles. Yeah, if he means Los Angeles, I, don't think, I think I heard. Yeah, that. because you know what? I don't think there would be a, a restaurant in, in Louisiana called Casa de mi Madre. 
Ain't hey, more people are there. Nah, nah, not casa. Maybe my, my mama's house, you know, but not casa de mi madre. No pun intended. You never know. Big Al needs to do a smoking, how to smoke meat video. Uh, how to do some barbecue video. Uh, you know what, MMA, you're in luck, bro. I'm about to do, I'm about to smoke a, a, a tri-tip. Probably Saturday I'm going to do it. So a tri-tip, I'm going to, so we can make some tri-tip sandwiches. So I, I, I did buy a tri-tip the other day so I could smoke it. So, but I'm going to probably do that on Saturday. I, I'm definitely going to vlog that so you guys can check it out. What do you guys think about the food videos anyway? Do you guys, are you guys like bored of that? Or is that cool? Or, or what's up with that? Do you guys, uh. I, I, I like doing them, man. I don't know. I don't know. I like cooking, and, and I, I know everybody likes eating. One of, it's, it's funny because a buddy of mine, an old buddy of mine, called me today, and he's all like, hey, I heard you're, I heard you're making videos of, of food videos, and I'm like, I need to learn how to cook. What, what's your channel name? So I gave him the channel name so they could go on it, so he could go on there. It's pretty funny. Hey, babe, Arizona's in the house. Arizona? And I have one question for Arizona. There's some parts, because I have a lot of family that lives over there. But there's some parts that are on, on quarantine and there's some parts that aren't. And I have a big feeling like, what are they waiting for? Yeah, you know like, what? Like, it's scary. It's David. David, yeah. Hey, David, I noticed that too, man. I follow a lot of Barber, Arizona barbers, and I noticed that you guys are all working. A lot of you guys are still working over there. That's crazy, bro. I don't know. I don't know, man. You know, at one point, guys, it's like this. Look at It's even like with my shop. My shop, we've been closed down already 17 days, you know. And I closed my shop what seven days before they made it made it mandatory you know what i mean yeah. like i closed it ahead of time because of the safety factor the safety issue that not just myself but my family and my clients and my community you know like that's so, when i was still laughing at big al because we were shopping for like big old big, big old, old i'll buy all kinds of stuff big thing of rice. <laughs> she's like you're tripping i'm like no like, i'm oh not oh my gosh how embarrassing and we were, we were actually the only ones buying all kinds of stuff yeah we, we were one of the like yeah is barber essential no way bro barber is not essential guys essential is like groceries warehousemen the police department bus drivers that's essential guys shipping you don't need haircuts I don't care if you you go a whole year without a haircut and guess what? You're not gonna die, you're not gonna get sick, nothing's gonna happen to you, you're not gonna lose your job. It's not essential, it's not essential. If you think you're an essential worker, you, it's, you're absolutely wrong, you're not. There's, I, 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 I just tell you that right now, yeah, you're roofing, not essential. Yeah, plumbing, that's all essential. Yeah, plumbing, stuff roofing, like that, roofing, yeah. you know, like, you know, certain Even stores. Even some of, some of the contractors here though, um, I think it just depends on the city you you live in, but even contractors were essential, but some cities have shut that down too. Uh, Faith by Morales, Blake, you are right. Yeah. The mayor of LA announced that they're shutting down the water and lights for businesses that aren't essential that are open. Does that mean barbershops will be closed? Barbershops are already they're closed. closed. They're already closed. So what they're going to do now is they're saying that if you're open... They're going to come and they're not going to knock on your door. They're not going to make you because you know what they're doing is they're knocking on the doors and people aren't asking their doors. So what they're going to do is they're just going to shut the lights off and turn the water off and then you can't do no services. You know what I mean? And then, and then at, the end, at the end when this is all over, they're probably going to fine you for fucking having to do that to you. You know what I mean? They're going to charge you a fee for having to turn your lights back on. You know, it's just it's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it, and it's not worth going to somebody's house either. For you guys that are doing house calls out there, you guys are crazy. I would not go to nobody's house. Not right now. Let me see. MMA says he's got a few slabs in the freezer. Uh, slabs of ribs? Of course. I hope. Oh, yeah. Rib video. Arizona don't care. The governor don't believe in the virus. That's sad. Yeah, that's crazy, Mac. That's crazy that Arizona, they don't care over there. They don't believe in it. They need to. They need to, guys. There's a lot of people. I've been on these bar. You know, this last this week, I've kind of been cutting it out. But last week, I was arguing with a lot of barbers on the on all the group barber pages on Facebook. And just like, man, there's so many ignorant people out there that just think that that they know better than than the than the people that are actually that are going through this and now and, and it's crazy you know it's just crazy to me i can't believe that people even are going through that <laughs> yeah you should close i agree 
Yeah. A lot of my friends, like, they were posting on Facebook saying, like, uh, one of my friends said they were on lockdown, and then another, uh, some of my family members were like, we're not, we're not, like, we're not on lockdown. And I was like, oh, geez. That's bad. Blake Blends. I filed for unemployment. You can file for unemployment. It just depends on what state you are. If you're in, like, in California, they already have it set up. I went on there yesterday. There's a section for un for uh, 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 self-employed and independent contractors. For self-employed, I'm self-employed. You guys are independent contractors. Unless you have your own shop, then then you're self-employed. You know what I mean? Or, like, MMA, he's a, he, he rents a suite, so he's self-employed. You know what I mean? It, it just depends on where you're at. But, yes, guys, make the attempt to file for unemployment. And put down the last day that you work because they back pay you. So, like, my last day of work was March 13th. They're going to back pay me to March 13th if I qualify. I put all my information down. I don't see why I wouldn't. You know what I mean? And it's only, they're only doing this now is because of the new stimulus package. Because in the past, barbers could not. Add me as their beneficiary on their life insurance. <laughs> <laughs> As me, right? right? Exactly, dude. It's not worth it, dude. Why? No way. Hell no. Not right now. I do. You guys don't even know. I've been getting a lot of calls every day, you know, like every day from good customers too. And like, and I'm like, no, bro, no, no, no way. And I late now. I've been joking with them. You know what I do is they'll, they'll call me. Hey, can you text? Can you? Can you? Can you? Are you gonna be able to cut me up? And I'm like, nah, bro. I go just hang out. Just just hang out. And and when I see you, you're gonna look like this. And then I'll send I'll send them a gif of of the lion of the tiger king and his big old long blonde hair. And they're all like, oh, that's messed up, dude. That's messed up. The next question is a good question. Which one is that? Jed been? Clark, big fan of the channel. Business question. As a shop owner, besides your own cuts, how else do you make money at the shop? Besides my own cuts, well, as a shop owner, at my, at my shop, we do commission. So I, I, I the way I, we do it at my shop is the barbers make 70%, I get 30%. So I make 30% off each cut from each barber. So at my shop, the average cut is $22. So I'm making about little, about six bucks a haircut and the guys take the rest of the money home. Besides that, I also have, uh, I do products. You know, I sell gels. I have my whole, I have a whole little setup of combs, brushes, things that I buy downtown LA and I bring them and I, I buy them wholesale and sell them retail. And that, that brings up a little bit more money. But the majority of my money, I come from my haircuts because I'm a working, I'm a working owner. You know, I'm not, I'm not an owner that, just slacking around. No, I I do more haircuts than most of my guys in my shop. Like I, I'm usually the I have always been the top earner in my shop. Like at one point or another, some of my barbers get really really good, and then they start making more money than me. But then they end up jamming. So it's like a vicious cycle, you know. No barber shops are not allowed to be open right now. No hell no. And not. school is closed for the rest of the school year, which is till June. Yeah. So. Let me see. I can't believe that barbers can still be able to open, but hairdressers are closed in Australia. We all need to stay united. Oh, you're from uh, from from Australia? Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. I have a, a buddy of mine. His name's Andrew Adrian Adrian Hayes. I think his name is. He's from Australia. I just met him the other day on on social media also, and he's the same way. And he was telling me the same thing. He ended up closing voluntarily because he just knows that's the right thing to do. You know, like if you're a shop owner at one point, at one at one point or another, you got to make that constant decision to do the right thing. You know, like do the right thing not only for yourself, but for your for your shop, for your for your clients, for your employees. You know, like your employees all got kids. You know, like that worries me because one of my employees is the father of my grandkids. You know, so I don't want things going back over there either. You know, like so. You know, you you at, at one point or another, you you have to make that decision. You have to make that choice yourself. You know. And if the if the if the government's not gonna shut you down, you shut it down. Simple as that. You know, even if hairdressers are allowed, I wouldn't be cutting hair right now. Hell no. Especially at this point, because we actually if, if we didn't think it was real, we know it's real now. Yeah. Like everybody should know that this is real now. Richard Martinez says, I want to go back to work. Yeah, me too, bro. <laughs> I'm getting those calls too. Yeah, we're, I, I guarantee you we're all going to get those calls, guys. You know what's the great thing about this, really, in a sense, is that if you just stay stern with your clients and just tell them, like, no, no, it's dangerous. I'm doing it not only for you, but I'm doing it for me. You know, like, explain it to them and just tell them to hang in there. Tell them to hang in there. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay, you know? And when when, when the time comes, we're going to be so inundated with, with work. 
Oh, it's going to be awesome, guys. It's going to be awesome. Everybody's going to need haircuts. Everybody. So just hang in there, guys. Hang in there. File for unemployment, you know, like stay home. Don't go out there looking for cuts. Don't go out there trying to do work. No, stay home. Same in the in San Francisco Bay Area, blah, 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 schools are now in shelter in place until May. Yeah, we're we're locked we're locked down here in Cali till May uh May first. And and seriously, like me and Lisa were talking, I don't think it's gonna be May first, guys. I really, really believe it's gonna be June first. You know what Sometime I mean? Sometime in June. Sometime in June. Maybe July. You know what I mean? Like Yeah. So, I think they're just doing like thirty days at a time for us. So that nobody panics. So but. be safe, guys. When you guys get your little when you get your stimulus check, don't go blow it. Don't go like, oh, yeah, it's going to be okay. We're going to go back to work next month. No, it's not like that. You know what I mean? Like, hang on to as much cash as you can. Hold on to it. Buy a lot of toilet paper. No. Just kidding, guys. Just kidding. Uh, let me see what else we have here. MMA Best. MMA Barber says, I accidentally didn't block my schedule off on my app, and people are still booking appointments. They don't give a damn. Well, I'm the same way, MMA. I didn't block mine out either. I didn't block it out on purpose. <laughs> and I've been getting these different um, all these different people booking appointments. Like, I got, like, three appointments this weekend right now. And I'm like, no. Somebody said they're going to buy a dang tiger club. Tiger club. <laughs> a tiger club. I know, dude. I want to give me one, too, dude. Right here. I That's think, ridiculous. I think that I they're cheaper than a car. I think I want to grow, grow a mullet. Or the 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 tiger cubs are cheaper than a freaking poodle, like a real poodle. <laughs> right? It's, they're, they're, what do they say? They're only like four hundred dollars. Three thousand. Three, no, oh, no, like, four, like three thousand. Like three thousand. Three thousand. So guys, if you guys haven't seen that, guys, I highly recommend you guys watch The Tiger King on Netflix. That show actually came my mind off the damn virus. Yeah, because we watched we watched it the first week we we, we were off on, uh, on on quarantine and um. It, it's 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 very very entertaining, guys. It's not I like it's, the second week. I did. Yeah, it's weird, guys. It's a weird weird show, but I highly recommend it, guys. Highly recommend it. You guys want to watch something else good too? Is Ozark? Ozark is really good. Let's see what else. Hey, it's by Morales. They're about to do the wifey cut tomorrow. Are you gonna film it? Oh, you oh you finally talked her in. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, Priscilla, Priscilla, you have Juan cut your hair. Right, babe? Have one cut her hair? Yeah, she's, <laughs> she's a barber. We're about to do, let me see, Magic Clip versus the TR3. TR3. What's a TR3? I don't get it. I know the Magic Clip, but I don't know where the TR3 is. <laughs> Priscilla says it's Carol Baskin. Yeah, it is. She's a, she's a blame of all this that happened in 2020. Yeah, it's Carol Baskin's it's fault. It's her. She murdered her husband anyway. <laughs> she totally did. Yeah, that's the greatest show ever, guys. You guys got to watch that. Do you guys plan on doing your morning walks again? You know what? It's funny you asked that, Jason. We were, we were, we, I, we kind of been feeling sluggish. And, you know, I would love to go walking. I would really, really would. But I'm going to tell you guys right now. We were, I was telling her that this morning. And, I, and she, she's all like, I feel like we need to do some kind of exercise. Like, Let's start walking. But she goes... She made a bottom good point. I go, well, imagine if we fall down right now, guys. Imagine if you have to go to the hospital or something. Like, right now, it's not even, I'm telling you guys, is right now is the worst time ever to have to go seek medical attention. So, for that very reason, we're just going to stay put. Or, like, you know what, to you guys, honestly, where, where we go walking, yeah. there's a lot, if you notice, there's a lot of people out walking, riding yeah. bikes. Like Right now, everybody wants to go walking. Yeah, like, everybody all of a sudden like, wants You're going to be crossing different paths of different people. Like, yeah, no, that's the thing. That's another stuff. thing. Like, nah, we're just going to do it right here. I told Lisa tomorrow I'm going to open this gate up and that gate up, and I'm just going to walk around the house. <laughs> just do circles. Just do circles. Then do like 50 laps. I'm going to do like 50 laps. I think 50 laps would probably be about a One mile. A mile. Yeah. I'll tell you, it's Carol Baskin's fault. I, I didn't pay for, what did he say? I didn't pay 4K left out loud for the, for the what? For, oh, because he bought a dog. Oh, for the baller? Oh, hell no. He said he, he um, he said it, I got a mullet, <laughs> I got a mullet right now. And we just bought a French bulldog two weeks ago for 4K. 
Oh, you gotta do. You gotta <laughs> diet, 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 and and diet and take pictures with them. Like you're the, like the you're the Tiger King. <laughs> That'll be dope. I'm gonna. That's what I'm gonna be for Halloween this year. I'm gonna be the Tiger King. Uh, uh, for for Grills MMA. What did he say? Enter the hospital with a hairline fracture, leave with the coronavirus. That's what I'm afraid of. Yeah, or like even twist your your ankle or break your leg or something or or trip and you break your like like the other day when we did that TikTok guys and I did the one where we were like coming out of the door with the with the thing. I'm I ate shit coming inside there, guys. Yeah. I, like I'm, I could have broke my knee right. Now. I told him, he said, "Well, imagine if I would have broke my knee right now." Like, damn, you got to go to the ER. Like, right now is the worst time to go to the ER, oh, guys. For, something stupid. for being For being dumb, you know what I mean? Like. Hell yeah. Right now, they're probably asking you for cuts all the time. Right now, face. You guys are working still, too. That's crazy, bro. What beginner clips? What's a good beginner clipper for fading? A uh, good beginner clipper for fading. If you're gonna buy a clipper for fading, buy the wall, the uh, wall five star, the black one, guys. What yeah. did I use when I did your hair? You used uh, that was a 1919. Oh. But that's a cordless one. If you got, an, if you can get a 1919, 1919 is the same thing. Or that was pretty easy. To use. Yeah. Or or the or the five star, five star with with the cord is a great machine. That's the best starter machine of every of all of them. And they're only like eighty bucks. It's really inexpensive, and and, and it's and that machine will last you a long time. And you can get through fades, and, and you you know what I mean. And if you watch my videos, you can I, I use those those machines all the time to fade with. <laughs> <laughs> Blake said, he said. He, yeah, I was just about to start going to the gym, then they wanted to close the gym. Psh, I'm overweight. <laughs> Dude, Blake, we, we've had a gym membership for like three years. Like, like four years. Four years, and I swear to God, we've been there like four times. <laughs> and it, was, like, it was before we vlogged. Nobody were, yeah. we, we were vlogging already. No, it was way I before think that. Big Al was vlogging, actually. We, we weren't vlogging together on our channel. It's funny, though, because... um. The, the gym we go to, it's like literally right next door to my barbershop. So the owner of the gym comes to my barbershop to get a haircut. And then he's always telling me like, he's all like, yeah, man, you got to get yourself in there. And I'm like, and I always look at him. I'm like, I look up at him and I go, because I don't cut his hair. I look at him and I go, did you get my $18 this month? He goes, yeah, I'm all right, good. Then we're good. Because <laughs> that's what I pay for my stupid membership. And I don't even go. Somebody said their clients asked for a cut and he tells them he got the Rona. Just so they won't ask again. <laughs> so they won't ask again. I'm not even kidding. A big owl gets calls every morning. I'm like, oh my God. Every single morning, two, like, three calls. Geez, babe, like, just put it on social media that you're not cutting for nobody. Nobody's special. Nobody's that special. Like, you're not doing it. And he's like, I know. And he's like, but I, I think what they're doing is they're trying to see if he did it for somebody special. Yeah, yeah. So they make him feel bad. And it'll be like, okay, I'll do you. You know, like, I think that's what they're doing. I think, I think they're having like, they're having other people call me, their friends call me, see if I'll do them. And then they don't do them. You know what I mean? Like, so oh. like, you know, I like, that's why you can't just do, you can't do no favors. You just got to yeah. cut everybody off, guys. Everybody. I had a guy the other day call me up that I hadn't even talked to. I hadn't even talked to this guy for... I haven't talked. He he, matter of fact, the last time he he came to my shop, he didn't have money, so I did a I did a haircut. I told him, "Okay, pay me next time." And then uh, then the next time he came, he did it again. So I said, "All right, one more time." And, and after that, he never came back. So he owed me forty bucks. And, and this is when we charged twenty bucks. He is like he owed me forty bucks, and he hadn't come back. And all of a sudden, the other day I get a call, and I'm like, "Hey, he's like, hey man, you he like, want to come my hair?" I'm like, and I'm like, "Hell no, dude! You owe me first of all. You owe me forty bucks." He goes, "Oh." Oh, uh, don't! I got the money. Don't worry, I got your forty bucks, and I'll give you whatever you want right now. I'm like, I'm a hell no, dude. I ain't trying to catch the Rona. You're crazy, dude. He goes like, for real. I'm like, for real. I ain't gonna cut your hair. You haven't even come to my shop in the last four years. You think I'm gonna cut your your hair? Oh, I did that last time. <laughs> MMA. Oh yeah, MMA. Habla español. Sí. Oh, he does. Yeah, I see. Sí. That's embarrassing. I don't even speak Spanish. You're pocha, babe. That's why. My baby is a pocha. Shoot the gins needs. Oh, let me see. Uh, da, da, da. What happens? Your best barber. What's what happened when you're the best? What that's what happens when you're the best barber in the in the, in the city. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you, Eddie. Man, there's a lot. There's a lot of good barbers in our city, actually. Man, I'm not even gonna lie. There's good barbers even in my shop. There's 
There's good barbers everywhere. I don't think, I never think I'm the best. I never think like that. I, I always think there's somebody better than me or that, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just a consistent good barber. I'm there every single day. I do my job. I have passion for my shop, my job. And I love what I do. And that is what makes the difference between like me and other barbers that sometimes some barbers just go to cut hair and make money. You know what I mean? To them, it's a job. They don't care. To me, I, I have a passion for it. You know, I, I love what I do. That's one, that's one thing I admire about Big Al is that he's always been like that. Ever since, like, I've known him, he's never been, like, he's never gotten jealous about other barbers. No, nah, I he's don't. Never, he's I always don't. hyped other barbers up. He's always told them, don't worry, bro, there's plenty of heads to cut. You know, like, like he's, that's one everybody thing goes through Everybody goes through bad, bad times, guys. This last year for me, I'm not even lying, guys. Last year was probably my worst year in, in, the, in six or seven years that, of just banging, banging, doing good, 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 good. And then I had a whole bad last year. It was like business was down. It's just like I had a whole new crew. Um, it was just like, you know, like one thing never changes at my shop, and that's me. But other than that, the barbers start changing. They start shuffling. Some guys get mad. Some guys leave. Some start guys start feeling entitled, and they think they, they're entitled to more than, you know. Like, so it, it just, that's the way it is, you know. And, um, but you just... I don't, I don't never think I'm better than anybody else. I like competing. That's why I do barber battles. I do barber battles because I like to go out there and, and prove that, you know, some of the old guys can still cut hair, you know, and I go out there and try to compete with the young guys and it's fun. It's fun. We got Shark Lisa in the house asking if we do drugs. Shark Lisa, do we do, do you do drugs? Shark Lisa. <laughs> do I do drugs? Hell no, I don't do drugs. Are you crazy? I do Tylenol. What are you, <laughs> do I do Is drugs? Is you all on drugs? Is you all on drugs? <laughs> Shark Lisa troll. Shark Lisa? Aye, aye, aye. Aye, Shark Lisa. That's what Al used to call me. He used to call me Shark Lisa. Nice to be Lisa's nickname, Shark Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping a video tomorrow on YouTube. Hell yeah, keep them coming. You got, hey, face my Morales. There you go. There it goes. We're back. Yeah, just stay consistent, man. You just kind of keep dropping videos. And every video you drop, you're going to get better at it, dude. Every video is going to get better. You're going to get better at doing thumbnails. You're going to get better at doing, you know, figuring out how to how to uh, uh, edit. It's all it's all a process, man. Mi esposa es rusa. Estoy aprendiendo ambos. Rusa. She's Russian? MMA? Rusa? I think that's what he means by that. Jed Clark, you are a great barber. Why why was business down? Um you know what, bro? It's just it, it, it was down, it's been down. It's been down for like a year, man. And it's like um I, I I me myself, even myself, like I'm not gonna lie, even myself, I lost a lot of clientele. Like it's just not lost them, they just kind of like they dwindle away, like you know what happened too is I I went from being a, a all all walk-in shop and then at one point I changed over to doing appointments and and when I when I changed over appointments I think I lost a lot of clientele there I lost a lot of uh, people that used to come just wait for me and that now all of a sudden you know you charge a little bit more because I charge eight dollars more for appointments so a lot of those people didn't want to wait or they didn't like making appointments they just wanted to walk in. Um, at that point, I think it kind of changed a little bit. And I think I, I, my system started changing. But I still feel that that was a, a better change for the better. You know what I mean? Like working, doing walk-ins is kind of like really super old school. And I kind of wanted to get it built, come into a different level and start doing like appointments and, and even charging a little bit more like for services and make, make more money. You know what I mean? I'm the one that broke the $20 barrier in our city, guys. There was nobody charging 20 bucks at nowhere in our city. And I'm the one... That at first was like I was trying to push the level because I wanted us to come up. You know, I when we Whoa. when I first opened the shop, we we started off at ten dollars. So, ten years ago, so it, it took me ten years to climb to twenty. Right now we're at twenty two eight dollars with a, with appointments. It so it comes out to thirty bucks with an appointment. You know what I mean? So, uh, Phase by Morales says, "What's a thumbnail? Thumbnail is a picture that." When you post a video on, on YouTube, when their people are searching videos, the picture that they saw, the picture that they see, that's a thumbnail. So you got to dress that picture up for when you put post up your video, you put a nice thumbnail so that'll attract people to come to your video. 
If you go to my menu of videos on my on my, on my YouTube channel, you'll see lately I've been getting down with my thumbnails. I put all kinds of nice lettering on it. I try to make it nice so that it pops. So it's that this. we see. Show, show them, babe. <coughs> Let me see if you can That's see That's our it. channel. All right. Okay. See the thumbnails? Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Nah. Oh, and now you push the... Yeah, sorry. Never mind. Yeah, you can't... It's hard to see it on there, but... Yeah, thumbnail is just a picture, the preview picture that everybody sees before that. <laughs> Let's pray for the whole Rona situation gets over. Barbers need to get back to work and cut hair. Yes. Definitely, brother. Definitely pray on it every Your night, choice. man. We, we have to because, you know, we... Okay. we it's all in God's hands, really. You know what I mean? It's it's in God's hands. You know, they, it's all up to Him. <laughs> Ivy Max said the moment Lisa just had was funny <laughs> because I didn't know Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> she does. You know, Google Translate. Ella, Ella, Ella. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ivy, Ivy Max speaks Spanish? Oh, he lived half of his life in Mexico. Cool. He you know Ivy Max? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, eres paisa, entonces. Ah, órale. Yo también. Yo soy de Guadalajara. Uh, we're $25 a cut, haircut, beards, $30. Typically, gets $40 just about every cut. You're in Cali. Make your money. Get what you deserve, big L. Yeah, bro. I like, you know, that's another thing. Like, I, I raise my prices. So, I think when I raise my prices up to that above $20 barrier, like, I want to head to $25 and... And I, I think at that moment, I, too, I lost a lot of clientele because a lot of my clientele, too, they, it, it, you know, it might be it's expensive for them, especially when somebody comes in with like two, three kids and you're charging 25 bucks a, a pop. That's $75 for haircuts. You know, some people, they just it, it's unaffordable for them. So, um, you know, you sometimes you weed out those less. Now, I don't want to call them cheaper customers, but the people that don't want to pay as much. But um you know, it's not like I wasn't making as much money. It just, it was doing less haircuts. You know, I was used to knocking out 25 walk-ins. You know, all of a sudden I'm doing 12, 13 haircuts a day. And, you know, half of them are appointments. I mean, the money's still up there, but it's just like I wasn't as busy. So it it, it, it kind of, was, it was weird. Uh, Nick says, hey, how long do I keep the tortilla chips in the oil when cooking them? <laughs> When you're making the 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 um chilaquiles. chilaquiles, yeah, you just brown them, bro. You gotta get your get your oil hot. Once you get your oil hot, you drop your chips in. Maybe like a minute and a half, not even, or maybe fifty a minute, and then toss them over. Start flipping, flip them over like two, three times, and you'll see them. They get like they start looking like tortilla chips, and, and they take brown. them out. They get golden brown. Take them out and put them on a napkin and a plate so that the napkin will absorb the the, the grease. I love cooking, guys. In case you guys didn't know, it's the Kush MMA. Oh, what is he talking about? One question: What clippers are you are good to fade? Um, the best clipper for fading, I think, I think, are the walls. You guys, that's my opinion. Wall five star, the black one, that's the best. If you're gonna learn how to fade, or you're learning how to fade, that's the greatest machine. If you can afford the cordless one, get the cordless one. Uh, they're really, really good. Um, you can't go wrong with that. And it's easy to fade with. The system is good. Um, magic clips are good. Uh, um, if you talk to MMA, MMA will tell you it's the, it's the fade master. Uh, but I, I, I'm not really an Andy's guy. I, I, I'm more of a, a, a wall guy. So I would go with a five star. Five star on the black one. That's the best, that's the best machine for fading. And that's the one I use the most. Uh, let me see. What do you make? to eat today big al and lisa today we made uh today i bought we bought some chicken asada and i made the chicken asada i just fried it up and she made rice and beans you barbecued it i barbecued it outside yeah that, that was it was it was simple easy and then Nothing. i made the rice and refried beans yeah that was pretty good it was pretty good you didn't um, post our vlog yet huh babe no i haven't, I haven't posted oh, it yet okay. i will post it to tomorrow morning i mean we've been consistent on the vlogs huh guys A huevo puro Michoacán. Ay, Ivy Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely take things into consideration. Like family with two, three kids. Pops is getting out. I'll take care of them. Yeah. 25 cuts a day, you are the man. 
Yeah, and sometimes when I was doing walk-ins, guys, there was times when I would do 25 cuts a day, easy. It would be a it'd be a long ass day. You come after 25 cuts home, you guys come. I, I you know what? And I'm gonna tell you guys the truth, babe. And then you can back me up on this. The reason why I started doing appointments too was because I was so inundated with walk-ins. Remember that? Yeah. And I was like, I felt like I was overwhelmed. I felt like, man, I would come home and I was like, I was just so exhausted, so tired. And I was telling her like, man, I got to change. I got to change something. I got to change it up. I got to do something. That's when I got my app. And that's when I started doing appointments. And um, and that's when the kind of business dwindled a little bit. But you know what? It wasn't that, it's, that it got less busy or less money. It's just it got less clientele because we raised the prices up. So it kind yeah, of, a lot of people left and, of and a lot of people left because they didn't want to do appointments. You know, there's people that do appointments. They just, they don't like appointments and that's just the way it is. I think, you know, the barber, Martha Stewart, chef, Al, big Al, Lisa Marie, <laughs> Martha Stewart. Yeah. I'm going to get, I got to give me, a, I got, <laughs> I got, I got that, that's a good one, bro. I got to bring out my, my, Raider my Raider apron. I have a Raider apron guys. Yeah, you should. I should, I should start using that in the morning. Wall seniors, yeah, changed my life, man. The new cordless are amazing, yeah. And if guys, if you guys want to get a good deal on clippers, get at the barber. He's got the best prices on the walls, especially like if you want, uh, uh if you want a nineteen nineteen, he has them at a good price. Even though the the seniors, uh, the cordless seniors, I think he's selling them for like, I don't even want to say the price because that might be the wrong one, but I think it's like still below the price of anybody else. Uh, let me see. Jason Alex says, I like the faster, fa uh, Oster fast feeds with the ceramic blade and Andy's purple guards. You know what? I never tried the fast feeds, bro. I, I never, I never tried them. So I really don't know too much about fast feeds. Like I said, I'm more of a wall guy. I always been like that. DRTs. I do notice a shift and change in the flow of clients I had, but when I changed my method of taking less walk-ins, but what you mentioned earlier, gonna apply gonna probably be idea yeah bro it's it's it, it's you know like if i was just overwhelmed with working with too much doing way too many haircuts and i i know i I'm, I'm getting older i'm already 50 guys and i was knocking them out and and i'm pretty fast you know like but I, it was just it was too much you know you like you don't feel like you're not giving enough time to each client like I, I feel like i was rushing through haircuts trying to get to the next one because we were so busy and and it's just, it's not good customer service. Now I feel like I give a better haircut and I spend more time with each client in giving a better haircut. So you could give that better experience. Therefore, you could charge more money. You know what I mean? So you got to change your way of thinking too. There is a documentary series on YouTube about this stuff that is going on. You all watched it. Have an open mind though. I'm not saying it's true, but some pretty convincing stuff on there. What's it called? What's it called? Is that the one that's called Pandemic, or is that the one, or is it the one, the Chinese one, where they no, predicted they took that it? One down. They took that one down. It seems like they're taking every like conspiracy or anything about coronavirus, yeah, or conspiracy. They're taking it down off Netflix, yeah. YouTube. I don't know if you guys um, know. I don't know if you guys. I don't know if you guys know about that. There was a series on. Uh, on what was it called, babe? You remember what it was called? No. I, I don't remember what it was called, but it was a. It was a. It was a Chinese. It was a Chinese a a a mini series on there, and on there it was made in 2018, and it actually mentioned the coronavirus, and it mentioned a big pandemic, and it mentioned that they said that it was unleashed by the government, and blah blah blah, and so it, it's kind of a conspiracy theory, I think. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think a lot of this stuff has some truth to it. Not sure about you, Big Al. I'm going to go back to corded clippers. Cordless seems loud. Charge doesn't seem to last as long. Corded are cheaper and the power is consistent. I agree, Nick. I agree. Um, like, you know, you buy cordless machines and they just don't last as long. And, and they get loud and annoying, annoying. And, you know, like, they don't have the parts. The parts are harder to get. Yeah, it's 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 different. I, I agree. Like, I, I still keep a, a, a corded black, a, a five star in my in my drawer because you know when all else fails that thing never fails you know like and sometimes my other one's making noise or, or you can feel the power starting to go down on it you know that stuff like that is annoying with cordless. Give me another bit, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, face by my what's it insane? You better get the money. 
If you type coronavirus in the title of a YouTube video, they are automatically demonetized. You know what? You're right. Because I made a video when the corona thing first started and I put down my in my in my title I put warning coronavirus. And with that with that right there, they automatically demonetized my, my that, that video. I was and I took the title out I took it out of the title and they wouldn't put the, the, the monetization back on it. You're right about that MMA. So don't you in any of your videos don't put anything about coronavirus because if you do, you're not gonna get uh, monetized. Plus most, uh, DRT says, plus most of my clients love the idea of booking appointments on an app. I use a booking haircut since it is gave more structure on the time frames and haircuts and better way to plan out my day. You know, I agree, dude. I, like, since I started doing appointments, it's, it's a lot nicer. It's just like me and I, I'm having a, tr I'm ha I, even myself, I'm having trouble like getting enough appointments, but you know what? At my shop, we still walk, take walk-ins. So I get a lot of people that just show up and then they'll, they'll wait for me. They don't care if I have appointments. I'll just wait after the appointment. So, I mean, in the end, it still comes out to be the same amount of haircuts, but I'm, I don't, I think, I think I should have more appointments and I'm not getting them. Uh, Nick says, not to get into conspiracy, Big Al, but I think coronavirus was released to us for Trump doing the trade war on China and it hurts their economy. You know, that's a possibility, bro. That's a possibility. Uh, it's weird, you know. It's, that's, that's a good conspiracy theory right there. Salute. Priscilla says, it's called Fall Cabal. The start of the part one is 10 parts. Oh, we'll check that out for sure. Big out cracking cold ones like Stone Cold. We need them. We need theme music to go <laughs> Hey, bro, I'm on quarantine, dude. Like, I don't start drinking till five o'clock, guys. Don't think I'm drinking all day, all day long. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, no, I'm trying not to drink too, too much. Damn, the episodes are only 16 minutes. I'll get through that one real quick. Saludos. Yes, yes, true. We still have those moments with less appointments and few clients with walk-ins. Also, that in models. Hell uh, yeah. So, guys, I, 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 I want to know how many of you guys, let me know in the comments below, how many of you guys have filed for unemployment? If you file for unemployment, have you filed for unemployment? Because um, if you're a licensed barber and um, you're in, or an independent contractor, you are now able to file for for uh, uh, unemployment, guys. So I say I make sure make sure you guys take advantage of that. Don't let it just go without without uh, uh, doing it, guys. Because you know it's free money. I mean, like, I mean, it's not free money. You've actually paid. If you pay your taxes, you know you sh you're entitled to it. So I take take advantage of it, guys. <sighs> Let me see here. What else do we got here, guys? I'm telling your wife. <laughs> the weirdest thing about this virus is how they are censoring it on the internet. When you mention anything about it, the virus is a is a little odd. Yeah, that's weird. I, I was I was tripping out on that MMA about how you said about that, like about putting the coronavirus in your in your title and automatically is demonetized. I was wondering why they were doing that. Is it? I'm sure they're not scaring. What? I, or maybe I don't know. That's weird. That's real weird. That's kind of a, a conspiracy thing too, guys. Hey guys, for all you guys that are in here, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up, guys. Please, come on, guys. It helps out the channel right now. I need some thumbs ups. We only got seven in here. There's like 20 p, 23 people in here. What's up with that? When you guys come on the lives and all that, guys, if you guys smash the, the, the thumbs up, it, it helps out the channel a lot, guys, because then the algorithms go up and then, you know, they it just makes the channel, it's better. It's better for it. So trust me, guys, some thumbs up. Come on, we're at 11 now. Come on. Can I get a few more, please? I'm begging for thumbs ups right now, man. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm begging for Sorry, them. guys. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I don't know how long Big Al's going to be on here, but I got to go um, get my dad some medication. He's having a bad night, and I'm trying to keep him out of the hospital. She's doing duties so, right now. So if I don't make it back by the time Big Al leaves, thank you for watching, guys. 
-hmm. and we'll see you on our vlog tomorrow. Babe, Ma I was gonna say Ma bye. Ma and you're Ma oh yeah, mañana. Bye, you guys. <laughs> Let me see right here, guys. Start begging. <laughs> Super chats. What are the super chats all about? Uh, I don't want to beg you for super chats when they pay for the chats, right? I don't even know how that works. How does super chats even work, MMA? How long do you usually take on a haircut, Big Al? Um, my average time is 30 minutes. 30 minutes for sure. And um, if beard and haircut, beard trim and a haircut, 45 minutes. That's what I give myself. But I'm pretty fast. I can knock out a haircut in like, I could probably knock, I seriously, I can knock out a haircut in 20 minutes, easy. Clean fade, you know what I mean? So I, I'll give myself a little bit more time for, like if they want the razor or, or, you know, I'll try to do a little detail work on them, but I try to give them a half hour each each client. Before when we were doing just walk-ins only, I swear to God, I'll be doing 15 minute haircuts. I'll be doing 15, 15 minute fades. Like if a guy comes in with a, a one and a zero, I mean, come on, it's that's like the simplest haircut ever, a two and a zero. Like you can knock that, I can knock that out in 20 minutes, 15 minutes, e easy. But again, like you don't want to spend 15 minutes on a fade because that client's going to look at you like, you're done already? Like, you know what I mean? So I try to spend a little bit more time on it. So MMA is selling five dollar beers, guys. Hell yeah! Thank you, MMA. How does that work? What is that? You just gave me five dollars, four ninety nine. What does that mean? I don't understand. I gotta get into this. Let me see what we got here. Love your positivity, my brother. Thank you, Daniel. I appreciate it, bro. I try to stay positive, guys. You know what I mean? Like, you always try to stay positive. I don't. I don't like negative negativity. You know, like negative. When you feel negative, negative actions bring negative results. Positive actions, positive thoughts bring positive actions, bring positive results. So you got to just stay positive all the time. Even when shit's hitting the fan, you know, like, even like right now, when you got 80 bucks in your in your bank account, like, you know, like, just stay positive. It's, it, things are going to get better, you know, like, things will get better. Like, you know, there's a will, if there's a will, there's a way. Trust me, guys. King Poop Nation Alvarez, yo, from Chicago. Are you from Chicago, brother? All right, welcome, bro. Welcome. I had to take a leave of absence from work. Why, brother? What happened? It's because I live with my parents. Okay, so you don't want to get them sick? Is that why? That's good, bro. Sometimes you got to do that, dude. Like, Cause if you live with your parents and they're old, you don't want to be bringing stuff back home for sure. Kiko, your great spirits, brother. You always put me in a better mood. Thank you, Dallas. I appreciate that, dude. Thank you, Cole. I appreciate that. I try to, man. Like, go on. If you guys watch our vlogs, you know, even right now our quarantine vlogs that we're doing on our other channel, you know, we're just doing it to lift people's spirits. We're just trying to stay positive for everybody. You know, we're all going through this, guys. Not just you guys. Not just, you know, all of us are going through this. So we go through this together, you know. And, you know, if you're part of the Barber family, that's what it's like. You know, we all lift each other up. Try to make each other better. Um, you know, and we'll come like, climb out of this. And when it's time, trust me, guys, when it's time to get back to work, it's going to be sweet. We're going to make some money. I guarantee you that. We just got to stay afloat right now. We just got to survive these days. Stay safe, you know. People can donate to your channel by clicking on the money sign on the bottom right hand corner of the chat. Oh, okay. I see. So if they click their money sign on the, on the or they can donate to the channel. Oh, okay. And then, hey guys, any money donated to the channel helps out, you know, like helps out towards the channel because that's what we're doing. We're making these videos. It's, it's time consuming. It takes time. It's, you know, we're more like right now. I got nothing but time. You know, I love doing this anyway.
But you know what? There is an alternative motive to this, guys, to being a, a YouTube barber and all that. Like, I'm, I'm, I know MMA knows what I'm talking about at the barber, you know, because once you get into the into the more, uh, um, when you have more subscribers, when you get into the 100,000, 200,000 subscribers, you know, the money that YouTube pays you is pretty, is pretty good. So, you know, I, of course, that's a, another source of income that I, I don't depend on it now, but eventually it's going to be nice. You know, when I get to those subscribers like that, it's going to be real nice. You know, I, I won't have to worry as much about working so hard at, at cutting hair. You know, it, it'll be so that's kind of, I think of it kind of a, like as the future retirement. The more the better I get at doing this, the less I'll probably have to cut later and I could just focus more on this. It has to have my shop and because um, I'm not done with shops. I want to open another shop. I still have plans, you know, like. My plan, my, my plan originally was to, to buy, to open a shop in Vegas, you know, because you guys know I'm a big Raider fan. I'm a season ticket holder in Vegas, so I want to eventually open a shop in Vegas. If not work there myself, but maybe open it and send my, my, my kid, my daughter, and my son-in-law to work over there and have them run that one, and we'll run this one, you know? So, it's an idea. It's an idea that I've had for a long time, you know, but it is what it is. Right now, things are different, you know? Yes, my dad is sick. Oh, your dad's sick? Well, I'm sorry, dude. I hope it's not I hope it's not what we think it is. Uh Faith by Morales is asking me what happened with the Kimi warranty. What warranty, bro? It's a Kimi machine. It's from China, dude. They have no warranties in China. You know, more you know those are throwaways, guys. If you buy a Chinese machine, you're not gonna be able to send it back. There's no returns. I don't think there is. I don't even know where do you send it to. But then again, I've never sent any machines back. So I'm, if I don't send the walls back, I doubt if I'm going to send back a Chinese machine. Whoa, baby. <laughs> She's popping, popping bottles over there. Salud. Uh, I remember back in the day when my uncle was in the, uh, in the Yellow Pages. Yeah, you remember the Yellow Pages? <laughs> He's like, I invest all YouTube money in the stock market. That's smart, MMA. That's super smart. It sucks right now that the market's not doing really good, but I'm sure you're going to bounce back on that, brother. As soon as this all ends, I'm sure the economy's going to be booming again. I right? know. That's a, that's smart, dude. That's super smart. Like I, I, that, that's probably one of the better ideas that I've heard. That's good. Because that's kind of like retirement right there. If you're, you're investing in the stock market, you know what I mean? Like, that's pretty smart. That's a good strategy. Additional income shouldn't be thrown away. Al should be lucky he didn't get Corona with with those Clippers. <laughs> with the Chinese Clippers? I know, right? <laughs> MMA says that when you order Clippers from China, that they come installed with coronavirus on them. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You Remember you just got that package, like, and then we were like, oh, no. We're like, shh. <laughs> No one has got sick in the past with ammonia. Oh, you mean pneumonia, right? Um, yeah. Who's, who's, what's that? Who got sick with pneumonia? I don't know. I, I think he's talking about his dad. Oh. He's, he, in, uh, uh, further up, he was talking about his, I think his father's sick. So he has pneumonia? Oh, man, that's not good, bro. He has pneumonia now or he had pneumonia? Cause... Yeah, because I hope he doesn't have it now because right now is not a good time to get pneumonia, guys. That's why I tell you guys, like, right now is not a good time to be out walking and trying to do. <laughs> I'm drinking a Mike's Harder, Cheers. Priscilla. Cheers. <laughs> Yeah, yeah so, my, my dad actually had pneumonia. He got pneumonia last year. Yeah, right um, now it's not a good time to be sick, guys. That's why, like I tell you guys, it's not good to be walking in the morning early, like doing things that you feel like is going to catch you a cold. Walking around outside with no shoes on, you know, like, you know, it, it, it's not smart right now because if you catch a, a good sickness, you're going to be screwed, you know what I mean? Big Al, it's a good time to buy stocks right now. I woke up to a few dividend paychecks today, making money while I am sleeping. Yeah, that's good, bro. I'm trying, I'm trying to pay my rent right now. I can't buy stocks. I wish I could buy stocks, dude. I'm trying to stay afloat right now. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for that stimulus check. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's in Missouri, we take the extra income and then reinvest it at the Lake of the Ozarks. <laughs> Angel investor. That's a good program. Oh, that's a we good show. It. We just finished it yesterday. It was we're, really good. We're kind of having Ozark re- withdrawals a little bit. It's beautiful there. I think I would live there. The ending I was, like it. The ending was good, guys. Whoever saw, who was on Ozark? The ending was good. If you guys saw the ending, the ending was good. Can't wait for season four. Oh, um, who is it? King Pookie Nation or Alvarez? Ha- oh, Alvarez. Ha- his dad had pneumonia. Oh man, that sucks. In the past. Oh, okay, in the past. Yeah, that's dangerous because anybody with like upper respiratory problems issues already is is um having a hard time fighting this this virus. That's why we're being extra careful with my dad. Yeah, well, because we have our, our, my father-in-law here, you know, we have to be extra careful with him. That's another reason why we we kind of have, like, seriously, guys, I haven't even been leaving at all. Like, I don't I haven't even been going to my mom's house. My mom is literally around the corner, and my daughter and my grandkids are over there. Like, I haven't even been going over there to visit them. We've been just FaceTiming, and, and you know, like, if I do need to go over there, I'll just go drop off what I need or, or grab what I need and come back, you know, like. No visiting, no nothing. And, and then they just, were sick over there too. And, and they were sick, yeah. yeah. The, remember the first week? The first week we were off, They, my yeah. granddaughter wound up in, she wound up at an ICU at Children's Hospital. And luckily it wasn't that, it was something else. It was a RV, a respiratory, RSV. RSV, a respiratory uh, 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 infection. Which we could get too, and I think his mom has it. Yeah. So, you know, at that same moment, it's just... It's a safe thing to do right now, guys. Stay. Well, they, you know, they say if you don't live with them, don't visit them. So that's the code. If you don't live there, don't visit there. Stay in your own home. Juan wants to know what made you become a barber. I am. Oh, good night, Fades, Fades by Morales. Later on, brother, you got a job. You got to get up in the morning. Uh, Juan, what made me become a barber? Um, you know what? I came, became a barber later on. I became a barber when I turned 31. I was already a little bit older, too. I, I didn't start off super young like everybody else. But I am a third-generation barber. My grandfather was a barber. My dad was a barber at one time. My uncle, who was my mentor, was a barber. So we kind of have come from a long line of barbers. I became a barber. My daughter is now a barber. My son's going to be a barber. My uh, My brother's a barber. So we're just a barber family in our family. You know? I'm going to be a barber. She might kidding. be a barber. So, just you know, kidding. it's just, it, 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 you know, it's a great, it's a great, um, it's a great, it's a great trade. If you're not, if you're not, you're not going to go to college, you don't want to go to college. It's a great trade that, you know, barbers are always needed and they're always work, you know. And if you hustle and you work hard and you, you know, you, you, you can make money in this, you can live comfortably, very, very comfortably. After this, we will all need haircuts. Yes, we will. Let me see here. It sucks. I can't see my nephew. Oh, man. I hear you, bro. That's the one thing that does Yeah. suck right now. I can't see mine either. We can't see our grandkids. Yeah, I can't see nobody. Like, just, we're just kind of locking ourselves in here. It's tough. It's tough for everybody. Everybody's Everybody's kind of hurting right now, you know? But, you know, we all got to hang it's in there. It's better safe than sorry, guys, because it's only going to be a short time. Like they said, I'd rather miss my family now than to not see them ever again. Yeah, because, you know, you're. it's not worth it, guys. It's mm-hmm. just not worth it. But uh, I think we're going to close it up, guys. I, we've been on for about an hour and 15 minutes. We should give ourselves an hour. Again, guys, if you guys aren't following us on our other channel, Big Al and Lisa Marie Vlogs, Make sure you guys go on to our channel and subscribe over there, guys. Um, you know, we're dropping daily vlogs over there. Just random stuff, guys. Just We're just just doing it. That's it. You know, but, you know, we appreciate every single one of you. I appreciate every single one of you guys watching on my channel over here, Big Al's Barber channel. Uh, I, I got a ton of haircuts that I'm going to do tutorials on. If we're going to be off for a while, I'm going to be dropping probably a tutorial a day, so... If you guys are bored, make sure you guys watch the tutorials. I'm going to be uh, doing the voiceover on them. I'm going to start mixing them up a little bit. I'm trying to speed up some of them so they're not so long. Like today's was 30 minutes. That's kind of long. Hey, babe, somebody wants to know what you did before you're a barber. They don't know that you're a stripper? I was a stripper? Yeah, I was a, I was a, a male stripper. He worked in Las Vegas. I was an extra large, I was an extra large stripper. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. Rona. <laughs> if, and barbers do qualify for unemployment. Yes, in guys. California. Yeah, I, I was that was originally what we were talking about, guys. Before I close out the vlog, you know, like remember, guys, in California or in, I, in check on your own. I don't know if you're all in California, but check your state. Barbers and independent contractors now qualify for unemployment. So if you're not making any money, you're not working, try it. Give it a try. The worst thing they're going to do is tell you no. It could never go wrong. You can never try. What His happened? stripper name was Big Al. Yeah, my stripper name was Big Al, guys. You guys don't know, but Big Al used to be big. Ladies. That's why I didn't call, I didn't call me Big Al for nothing, guys. I lost a lot of weight at one time. But yeah. Hey, guys, to... remember to pray for each other. Let's pray for each other. If you guys need stay positive as much as possible and if you guys need an uplifting word or whatever dm me or big al yeah we'll be there for you guys if you guys you whatever you know like yeah stay positive whatever. guys you know like we're all going through this together it's yeah. tough man i know we're all going some of us some people are going crazy out there just having to stay home like you know we just you know guys it's it is what it is we enjoy it it's nice to be home it's nice to be home you know it really is so Enjoy your families, enjoy yourselves, and you know, and, and like like Lisa said, let's pray, pray, pray that this ends soon, and and let's help lift each other up. Yeah, you yeah. know that's what we're we're here for, you guys. Just like you guys are here for us, we do this because you guys actually make us want to do this. Yeah, and we feel like we have like an uh, I don't know some kind of like some kind of adult chat, huh, babe? <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> adult, right. adult conversation. <laughs> it's kind of cool. But it's really yeah. Cool. God bless you guys. God, God bless you guys, and we'll see you guys. Mañana. Mañana. Grand on.